The Star Spangled Banner, also known as the Defense of Fort McHenry. Francis Scott Key, September 13, 1815. The Annex Song was composed under the following circumstances. A gentleman had left Baltimore in a flag of truce for the purpose of getting released from the British fleet, a friend of his who had been captured at Marlborough. He went as far as the mouth of the Patuxent and was not permitted to return, lest the intended attack on Baltimore should be disclosed. He was therefore brought up to the bay to the mouth of the Patapsco, but the flag vessel was kept under the guns of a frigate, and he was compelled to witness the bombardment of Fort McHenry which the animal had boasted that he would carry in a few hours, and that the city must fall. He watched the flag at the fort through the whole day with an anxiety that can better be felt than described, until the night prevented him from seeing it. In the night he watched the bombshells, and at early dawn his eye was again greeted by the proudly waving flag of his country. Oh, say can you see, by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars of the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. O oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? On the shore, dimly seen through the midst of the deep, where the foe's haughty host and red sand reposes. What is that which the breeze over the towering steep, as it fitfully blows, half conceals, half discloses? Now it catches the gleam of the morning's first beam, and full glory reflected now shines on the stream. Tis the star spangled banner, O oh, long may it wave, o'er the land of the free and the home the brave. And where is that band who so fondly swore that the havoc of war and the battle's confusion a home and a country should leave us no more. Their blood has washed out, their foul footsteps pollution. No refuge can save the hiring and the slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. And the star-spangled banner in triumph doth wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thus be it ever, when free men shall stand between their loved homes and war's desolation. Blessed with victory and peace, in the heaven rescued land, praise the power that has made and preserved us a nation. Then conquer we must, when our cause it is just. And this be our motto in God is our trust. And the star spangled banner in triumph shall wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave.